Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, we are going through the last question. <laughs> the last question of this grade 12 mathematics literacy paper one that was written in June 2021, right? And this last question, guys, is question 5.2. In the previous video tutorial, guys, um, we did go through question 5.1 um, of this question paper. And question 5.1 basically want, um, required us, or with question 5.1, uh, we're required to basically make use of these two line graphs that we have here to answer questions. But with question 5.2, guys, we are going to be using a frequency table right to answer the questions okay our questions we are also going to be going through question 5.3 in this video tutorial and question 5.3 guys is the last question like you can see here there's nothing that comes after uh, question 5.3 question 5.3 is literally the last question um in this exam paper um and question 5.3 um, basically requires us to basically go through and um, have a look at an extra C and an extra C basically um, has a stacked bar graph and we're going to use the stacked bar graph to answer questions right before we get started with the video tutorial guys please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel please make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video tutorial okay don't play yourself like that please make sure that you hit that notification bell and also guys please make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up please engage with these videos give them a give this video a huge thumbs up um, because that really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel reach more learners that just want to better their mathematics mark guys please do that for me please do not leave this video without clicking on that like button i cannot stress this enough guys and also please also make sure that you engage with me on the comment section right tell me how you found the video did um did i simplify everything for you guys did i make it easy for you guys to understand but that is the main point of this channel is for me to simplify everything and make it straightforward and easy for you to, to understand from now on i will actually be uploading more consistently to help you guys prepare for your june exams right so thinking of the the 2019 papers or the 2020 papers you guys will tell me which ones you want i'll actually do a a poll and then you guys can vote which ones you'd like for me to do and i'll also be uploading that for you guys so i'll try and upload more regularly i'll try and be consistent like maybe four videos or three videos a week for you guys so that you guys are prepared i'm well prepared for your exam your junior exams and even your class tests your, your major class tests all right so guys without any further ado let us just get started with the video tutorial <laughs> all right so like i mentioned guys on today's video tutorial we are going to be going through question 5.2 and question 5.3 of this exam paper right question 5.2 requires us to basically grow basically work with this frequency table to answer questions let us just read the, um, what is given to us okay so it says that the incomplete frequency table below shows the mathematical literacy marks of a group of 67 learners right so this frequency table okay shows a mathematics literacy marks for 67 learners right and we are told that it is incomplete right so we need to basically complete this frequency table before we even get started with the question because with the questions they'll ask us to complete the frequency um table let us just see how we analyze a frequency table right so so this is the frequency table of the mathematics literacy marks okay and then the interval so learners that got between 80 to 89 percent there's three learners yo i it's rough right so we've got 67 learners and from those 67 learners only three learners got 80 to 89 right from 70 to 79 70 to 79 how many learners got that so that's the that's the row that we need to complete okay let's move on 
from 60 to 69 how many learners right so we've got five because with when you're reading a tally right let me just explain this to you with a tally with a tally you say one two three four and when it's five you do a line like that okay so that is five ten right eleven twelve so you've got turn twelve learners that got between sixty to sixty nine fifty to fifty nine you've got five six seven seven learners forty to forty nine you've got five ten fifteen learners um, 30 to 39, you've got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 learners. 20 to 29, you've got 4 learners. 10 to 19, that learners that got 10 to 19 percent, got 2 learners. And learners that got 0 to 9 percent, 1. Okay, so that's basically how you do the tallies. Now let's go through frequency. What do frequency, what does frequency mean? Frequency just means that like the amount that you got in the tally so if you've got three that is the frequency how much right so how much so that's the frequency it's three that's the three okay or how much it occurs like frequency how much it occurs right so we've got three learners right uh here we've got 12 right so that's just the frequency and the cumulative frequency what does cumulative frequency mean right when you add the frequencies so from zero um to three so the first one is zero so that's the first cumulative the first value for the cumulative frequency to get the second value say zero plus this three gives you the three to get this value you're supposed to take this three plus this value we'll put this x here to get that value okay so it's going to be three plus x three plus x three plus this should give you this value okay to get this value is three plus x plus 12 should give us this value right so i just put the x there to show that this is unknown right and i'm just trying to show you that to get to that value it's supposed to be three plus this value to give us this value right to move to that value it's this value plus this value to go to this value to get to the next value let me even show you 21 plus 7 is 27 28 right that's how we got to that value right to move to this value say 28 plus 15 gives you 43 right to move this to this value 43 plus 17 gives you uh gives you 60 right 43 plus 17 gives you 60 right to go to this value 60 plus 4 is 64 64 plus 2 is 66 66 plus 1 is 67. We don't have to use a calculator for, for these ones, guys. <laughs> right. So basically, that's how they get the cumulative frequency. So because now I've explained how what is the frequency, or I've explained what is the tally, what is the frequency, what is the cumulative frequency, guys, I think we're now ready to analyze this question. Okay. So let's look at question 5.2.1. It says complete the tally for the 70 uh, to 79 interval. Before we even uh, complete the tally, okay, for the 70 to 79 percent interval, we need to get the frequency as well as the cumulative frequency. Okay, so how do we get that? Like I mentioned, guys, to get the cumulative frequency is that plus this value to give us that, right? So how can we move backwards? How can we move backwards to, to, to get that value? Let's see. If I say 43 minus 15, will I get 28? Let's see. 43. Okay. 43 minus 15. Because remember, to move in that direction, to move in that direction, you say 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 plus x is 3 plus, uh, plus x. And then 3 plus x plus 12 should give us 21. We're still going to find out what the x is. Yo, guys, I know that the minute I just introduced that x value, someone is like, yo, 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 yo. They've already given up. Please do not give up. Hold on, okay? Don't Hold on. Hold on now, right? So 12 plus 21, I mean, 21 plus 7 is 28, right? So we're moving forward or oh, downwards by adding... We are adding, right? So that, I think that's 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 perfect. We're gonna add, right? To adding, right? These values as we go down. Meaning, when we go up, what need must what must we do? We need to subtract. Okay, the values, right? Let's see. 
If I say 67 minus 1, I get 66. If I say 66 minus 2, I get 64. If I say 64 minus 4, I get 60. If I say 60 minus 17, you can even check for yourself in the calculator as I go. 60 minus 17, it's going to be 43. 43 minus 15 is equal to 28. Right? 43 minus 15 is equal to 28. Right? 28 minus 7 is equal to 21. Therefore, 21 minus 12 is going to give us that value there. Okay, I'm going to remove the x's now, guys. Right? I think, yeah, I think we're cool now, right? So, so 21 minus 12 is going to give us that value there because we are going in that direction. We are going upwards, therefore we need to subtract because when we go downwards, we are adding. I think I've explained that properly, guys, right? Okay, so 21 minus 12 is going to be equal to that cumulative frequency there right so we're just gonna take that 21 minus 12 which is equal to 9 okay and then 9 minus what is going to give us 3 okay 9 minus what because remember we need to say 3 plus what will give us 9 we can say 9 minus 1 is going to give us 3, okay? Because remember, when we're going downwards, if you're going from 3, going uh, uh, from three going downwards, we need to add, right? If you want to also go upwards, then you can say 9 minus 1 will give us 3. Or you can say 3 minus uh, three plus 1 will give us 9, right? So the what is the x. How can we get that x value there, okay? So I'm going to show you how we can get that x, right? x just stands for it's an unknown value guys it shouldn't make us panic right it's just an unknown value that we're trying to determine we're trying to find out what that value is right and to help it become easier because some some learners it's actually hard to be like okay what must i nine minus what nine minus what will give me three so by putting the x it makes it easier to 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 to, to solve that equation right <laughs> Right, so 9 minus what? So 9 minus what, right, will give us, 9 minus what will give us 3. Okay, 9 minus what will give us 3. Okay, so this is just a, a, a simple um, linear equation, guys, right? So it's a simple linear equation. 9 minus what will give us 3. So it's just going to be, you're just going to solve for this x here. We're going to find out what this x is here. So it's 9 right the 3 goes to the other side minus 3 is equal to x so 9 minus 3 is equal to 6 right so the x value is 6 right so that unknown value there is 6 okay or another way we can do this if you're not comfortable with working with that right we can say that you've 9 minus what will give us 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 i'm just helping you guys understand what's going on so 9 minus what will give us 3 right so we need to have 3 that's what we want so that's the 3 so we need to minus a certain amount of circles so it's going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 9 minus 6 will give us the 3 okay so that's the 6 there and if you just check here right if you just check here 3 plus 6 gives us 9, right? And then we are fine. So we've basically completed this uh, frequency table. We've completed it, right? And I hope I explained everything to you guys. Hope you guys, um, I didn't lose anyone in the explanation, right? I explained it by just introducing a, just the X, right? So what are we looking for? Um, what are we looking for? Which is the X value. But if you also don't understand it in terms of that, just draw. Um, you're thinking, okay, you've got... You, you've got 9, you want to get 3, how many must you subtract to get the 3? That means that you must subtract 6 to get um, the 3. Okay, so from here guys, it's become super easy because now we've basically filled out our frequency table and we can start answering the questions, right? It says use the frequency table above to answer the questions that follow, right? 
complete the tally for the 70 to 79 percent interval okay this is question 5.2 okay so 5.2.1 okay so it says we need to complete the tally for the 70 to 79 interval so because now we've already found that this is, a, is six right it becomes easy for us to complete the tally how will that tally look right we said that it's going to be one two three four this is five right and one right so that is six okay so that is how your tally is supposed to look so you're literally going to write it like that so it's one, two, three, four, five, and one. So we've completed the tally for the 70 to 79 um, interval. Okay. 5.2.2. Write down the frequency for the 70 to 79 interval. So we look at the frequency. I've already shown you guys how you get the frequency. And the frequency is six. Okay. Okay. And 5.2.3, show by means of calculations how the cumulative frequency for the 30 to 39 interval was determined, right? So we're going to go to the 30 to 39 interval. That's the 30 to 39 interval, right? I've got it highlighted here for you guys, right? And we basically want to show how they got the cumulative frequency, okay? So I explained to you guys, guys, uh, guys that to get your cumulative frequency values, when you move from uh, one value to the next, you just add 0 plus 3 to get us 3. 3 plus 6 to get us 9. 9 plus 12 to get us 21, right? So we need to add. So now we need to show that you're adding all these values to get to the value of 60 there right so all you need to do is you need to show that you add okay so it's going to be 5.3 5.2.3 okay okay so how do you add how did you get to the 60 right so you just take the 43 plus 17 to give us 60 literally 43 plus 17 gives us 60 okay because we have the value for that um the previous value you just take that f previous value of 43 plus 17 and that is 60 okay so it's 43 plus 17 which is equal to 60 okay if you want to take the long route you can just say 0 plus 3 okay plus 6 plus 12 plus 7 plus 15 plus 17 to give us 60 right or this is another alternative it's zero plus three plus six plus twelve plus seven plus fifteen plus seventeen and that'll give you sixty okay zero plus three plus six plus twelve plus seven plus fifteen plus 17 give us 60 okay and then we are done guys we are done and that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy Bye, guys.